Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Mahesh Trunakar Rasum. It is very happy to see you all back in this video again. So the topic for discussion is um, chest discomfort. How do you tell differentiate uh, how do you differentiate chest discomfort from a gastritis and a heart attack? Okay, this is what you are gonna learn in this video. So please make sure you do not skip this video so that you will get all the tips and everything. Okay. And uh, before the, before to get into the topic, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please uh, please do so. And uh, every single and every comment you give me, it's gonna be a big boost to my channel. Okay. All right, let's get into the topic. You know, most of the times, so my patients when they come into my office, I mean, they when they come into a medical office, uh, a lot of patients complain of chest discomfort. Okay, Ch based on the chest discomfort, how do you differentiate this uh, gastritis and uh, heart attack? Okay, in this video, this is what you're gonna learn. Uh, what are the causes of gastritis and heart attack, and how do you diagnose this? Uh, gastritis and heart attack with questions okay and then how do you treat and uh, how doctors treat this diet uh, problems and uh, as a patient what are the things that you need to know all right this is what we're gonna learn in terms of causes uh, gastritis and heart attack right but just discomfort this disc this discomfort could be uh, anything like any pain or pressure or kind of a squeezing discomfort this just discomfort can you know it can happen in both gastritis and heart attack right in gastritis what happens is when they come into my medical office, the doc, you know, I've been having this uh, chest discomfort right in the middle of my chest for the last uh, uh, two to three weeks or so. And then as a doctor, I want to differentiate, okay, whether this is uh, this patient is telling me about gastritis or this patient is telling me about heart attack. So I will look at the patient's age. If there is, if the patient is so young, like 25 to 40, then uh, in that patient, uh, uh, heart attack is less likely. You know, given uh, uh, if he's not a smoker, if he's not an alcoholic, then I will think of a gastritis in that age group. On the other hand, uh, if it's a heart attack, I will think I will uh, I will look at the patient's age, like if it is a 55 plus, and then uh, I will look at uh, his lifestyle, whether he is a chronic smoker, whether he's a smoker or alcoholic. Okay, so this risk factors will also be a deciding factor. In gastritis, they uh, they tell me that uh, they've been having this chest discomfort um, sometimes uh, soon after they eat any spicy food or or after they eat any heavy meals. Um, or when they lie down uh, um, sometimes uh, they feel that uh, food from the tummy coming up and hitting the throat and it, that causes a uh, burning pain or burning uh, complaints in the middle of the chest right it happens in gastritis on the other hand in a heart attack or any heart symptoms uh, they may say uh, doc you know what i've been feeling a uh, squeezing or uh, pressure like discomfort in my uh, chest or sometimes you know a sharp uh, stabbing or a uh, uh, stabbing pain like someone is uh, standing up on my chest that kind of uh, symptoms i feel in my chest but in in heart in in heart uh, attack or mild heart attack uh, they also give you uh, different uh, uh, symptoms like uh, my heart is beating too fast or uh, sweating excessively or they may feel some pain in uh, uh, the pain that comes from the heart radiates into the jaw sometimes it goes into the left hand as well but in gastritis, uh, patients are most likely they will not be having any uh, heart beating too fast. They will not be having excessive sweating or any giddiness. They do not have. This gastritis will always be uh, complaining of symptoms related to the food. Doc, if I eat spicy, I get this complain if i eat uh, too much i get this when i lie flat uh, soon after dinner you know i get this uh, uh, you know, burning sensation um, behind my chest and then they will also be uh, giving me history suggest you uh, you know they are they say things like uh, uh, excessive consumption of um, uh, coffee tea sometimes people who uh, um, chew uh, gums right excessive chewing gums and then uh, mint and things like that and even chocolate also gives a uh, gastritis problem so these are the things all right so and the risk factors are when i say the smoking alcohol they can give both gastritis and heart attack so here the age decides a main thing age like 55 plus or in sometimes a 30 40s even in 30 40s people do get a heart attack but they may have a significant family history that's what we have to look at 
okay but on the other hand 55 plus we have to keep in mind okay is, is the patient diabetes is the patient uh, ha, uh, hypertensive patient or high blood pressure patient uh, does the patient have high cholesterol so if the patient has risk factors then we should think of a heart attack okay if, if there is nothing like that a uh, young patient uh, in a very stressful life and uh, have symptoms related to food we have to think of gastritis okay how do you uh, how to go about okay uh, if you have all these things we have to look at the associated uh, symptoms do you have a weight loss do you have any vomiting or nausea if you have any uh, stool or if you have any blood blood stool like you know if you are pausing like a dark stool then you should be you know uh, thinking of visiting a doctor already your doctor will do some basic blood test to make sure everything is okay um, you know when they do blood test when they find a, a low hemoglobin count then uh, uh, men with hemoglobin is not good you know it's not acceptable all right so men with hemoglobin you should uh, get it evaluated why men has uh, anemia ladies having anemia is okay understandable because of regular periods they lose blood uh, anemia in uh, women is acceptable but men with anemia is no good okay get it evaluated guys and then uh, as i as i told you before how do you treat it you know uh, doctors uh, they look at whether it's gastritis or or, or or heart attack anyone in the having a chest pain we always uh, take ecg to see if there is any uh, symptom, uh, any signs any any waves suggestive of heart attack okay then if there is a heart uh, if there is any something uh, suggestive of heart then uh, you know uh, after you go to the hospital they do all this ecg and then they do enzymes and then they treat you accordingly all right gastritis you have to manage it with your lifestyle in the sense of you have to cut down uh, on having excessive uh, tea or coffee uh, you know because excessive caffeine can increase and uh, excessive alcohol or you know quitting on smoking will also help uh, reducing both gastritis and heart attack as well and uh, uh, treatment wise uh, if you continue to having this uh, uh, gastritis or uh, uh, pain or, uh, or any discomfort in the chest um, you have to get it evaluated you have to go to a nearby doctor a nearby physician or nearby medical gastroenterologist and then he might put a scope uh, camera right down into your uh, food pipe to see if there is any ulcer in the uh, stomach sometimes that could be causing those uh, chest discomfort all right so uh, before uh, you have this uh, uh, camera down into your tummy you should uh, take a medication uh, that is uh, acid suppressant medic medications for at least two weeks in the morning and night and uh, to see if the medication is uh, you know alleviating the symptoms or uh, you know getting away getting the symptoms away okay if you are doing very well with the medications then you don't have to go for that uh, uh, scopy test you mean that endoscopy test you can just uh, uh, do very well with these medications alone and then you just have to you know change your lifestyle a little better you know you know you eat your dinner uh, to at least two three hours before you uh, you are a bedtime and those little little changes will make a big big difference all right from uh, i think i have given you enough ideas enough uh, you know insights uh, into this how these uh, chest discomfort uh, different shades uh, in the gastritis and uh, and the heart attack okay here you you will be having a sweating or heart beating too fast uh, pain uh, radiating into the jaw or into the left arm sometimes giddiness might happen uh, things like that on the other hand gastritis uh, you know like uh, chest discomfort associated when you eating when you eat or spicy food or excessively you eat too much or caffeine tea alcohol alcohol also comes here uh, you know and other things so these are the things so, so try to avoid uh, all these things so that your symptoms will uh, eventually disappear but anything if you are very, if there is any weight loss if pain is uh, you know too much if you're not able to uh, you know cope up you have to go to a nearby physician or a cardiologist or medical gastroenterologist to get it checked all right then i hope i have given you enough uh, you know information on this video uh, if you want to have or if you want to know more information on this please do leave a comment so that i will do my next video based on that all right then i will see you in my next video until then it's a uh, dr mahesh tonakar so bye bye